actual intro intro. It's not the hard intro. It's the intro to the I'm intro. Gonna, well, I'm going to do a little intro. I'm going to see what your reaction is. Okay. <laughs> right. Let's clarify this. I know that as a Cockney song. Hey, you look sweet. You've just started singing it, and now I'm thinking it's a West Ham song. No, it ain't, mate. I've, I've forgot all West Ham songs. I've okay. been for ages. I've got Cockney parents, and that came out all the time. Is any it? old iron, any old iron, any old, any old iron. They always knew fucking weird songs that you'd never heard of. If you started what? singing one of them, that, that's not one of them. But if you start singing like some song now. My old man said, follow the van. And ah, don't well, dilly well, dally well, on the you way. you fucking got one. What's that fucking one you've got? What? Old Fanny's a bucket or someone. Oh, Bob that was by Cream. That is was, it Cream? Yeah, yeah. weird. Um, your baby has gone down the plug hole. I, it's brilliant. Ridiculous. I need to play that for you, actually. We we could make that the intro song. Could be. Um, Mama on, was washing her baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they're odd. Odd songs, man. Old fucking East End songs. Anyway. Make shit up. Welcome to the first podcast in about... A ten million years. Since you've got a girlfriend, I think. A lot's happened in the world. A lot's happened in our world. And I probably couldn't tell you any of it, if I'm being honest. What, about your world? Oh, there's been a lot of weed involved over the last oh, year. Oh, mine. Yeah. Yeah, true that. <laughs> that's, that's just getting fucking crazy nowadays. You're getting Catman, Do Man, Who Man, Bruce Lee, Weed, Strain. Okay. Oh, know? that shit. Yeah. That shit. But it's ones that like feel like a doctor's just diagnosed you as well. When you've got like amnesia, psychotic. Yeah. Fucking magic. Yeah, mate. Bring, bring you some hash, bring you some Thai weed, bring me some skunk. Done. Give me some gun. I'm out of the weed game for good. <laughs> out of the weed game. Mate, I'm thinking, in all honesty, right, I've been doing it for a long time. My lungs are shit. They are shit. Edibles are the way forward, I think. I ain't tried them. Still, I ain't tried them, have I? I've done them once, and after about an hour and a half, I was giggling like a 15-year-old who just smoked his first one. Yeah, I miss that. I'm talking proper squinty red eye. With that oh, Cheshire cat, red eye. that Cheshire cat grin on as well. Like, yeah, mm. man, miss them days. Like, not a word's been said. And bear in mind, this was around company as well. It's like a dinner dinner party went brilliantly. Yeah, it's like invisible coke. There, well, mate, honestly, like, no one knows you're doing it. A two minute, no, we all did it. There was about a two minute silence, and then someone just starts giggling. And then everyone else starts giggling because one person randomly started giggling. Yeah, that's mushrooms, bro. Oh, no, this is edibles, bro. I'm, I'm telling you, they're the way forward. I, 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 I want to try them. I don't know, are they expensive? Um, no, 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 they're good. You've got to go on your strengths because I think I did like a... Yeah, it's, it's based on milligramage or something. You can like yeah. buy to order or whatever it is. So it's written I on think... the packet. It's not like, you know, you're guessing what's in it. It's written on the packet. Well, in America... Definitely not. Like candy sweets and shits they have over there? Yeah, mate. And they've got all... They look like Haribo or Cola Bowl. I don't get that, man. Make your make your product. Why why are you making it in the shape of fucking kids' sweets and shits? So, you don't need to do that, man. I'm already going to buy your fucking product. So, yes, right? I have had Cola Bowls. What if I didn't have a sweet tooth? And I promise you, they taste like someone emptied a Haribo bag and just put Cola Bottles in there. Until and about then a trip bottles. an hour and a half later. Right, mm. but yeah, I'm li- literally sitting here thinking, like I said, a year's gone by. I've been high, I've been tired, I've been busy, and I probably couldn't tell you anything that's happened. And then you said cola bottles, and I went to Amsterdam. Oh yeah, you did, didn't you? I did go to Amsterdam yeah, without mate. me, which is frankly rude. Yeah, because considering last time you went, I was meant to be coming. Oh, I'm poor. Can't can't afford it, man. Oh, I I barely got by, right? But it was a proper stoner one. So I went with mm. one stoner and two others that probably used to smoke it when they were younger and are now proper virgin lungs. Oh, nice. So they're going back into like higher grade. Oh, sick. It, yeah, and it was interesting because they're like responsible people, yeah? So basically, every time I went into a cab, bought a gram. Well, no, is... you're speaking about parents at the end of the day, you know, yes. functioning humans in society. Yeah. So I went into the cafe and got like a gram, two joints. Mm. Yeah. Did you do a pre-roll? Buy pre-rolls? Uh, no, I'm clever because I've been before. I put a cigarette in my grinder before you leave the hotel. Therefore, you can put a fag in your joints all day and no one knows about it. Yeah, they're odd about that. Like, have all the higher grade weed in the world you want, but unless you're going to fucking mix our pot puree into that shit, yeah. you can't mix tobacco it's in indoors, isn't it? You can't smoke tobacco indoors. Yeah. 
Like, that's not the strictest of laws out there. They don't overly no. impose it. But they put fucking basically pop hooray down on the fucking table and expect you to grind that Sorry, into their what high grade there? weed. Po- pop hooray? Pop hooray. Comes in the tube. Pop hooray? No, I've not heard of her. No. <laughs> Who's she? Who's she? Why is she getting involved? She's that funky smelling flower on top of your toilet when you was a kid. Mm. But it, right, yes, I went to Amsterdam. I um, did it like a true stoner, and I went with two people right, that it, you? aren't proper stoners, but were well in, right, well up for the crack. Yeah. So basically, I had like two joints in every calf. Stopped in the calf three or four times a day in between. Yeah, meals. standard, man. It's a proper city in, break. Pan- pancakes and fucking splits. Exactly. Everyone one, one that's been the there knows you're walking around for about 12 hours a day going into different food places and different great. crafts. It is really great. Love it. It's great. It is one of my favourite cities purely just because of that element. Not necessarily one of my favourite cities in terms of favourite cities, but just because of that element. Love it. Great city. Great but, city. So I got to do it like a non-stoner and a stoner because they all wanted to plan trips in advance, right? Because oh, Everyone does, but they sit there and melt in a corner. Right. I did Anne Frank's house. Yeah, because... What do you mean you did it? What do you, you case it up? I'm not going to lie. Those floorboards were creaky as fuck, mate. And I'm not saying that for comedic value. I literally walked around the whole thing going, how the fuck did you even like walk to the kitchen in this bitch? Uh, it makes you wonder. She's probably only weighed about four stone when she died. So how is she making them bob floorboards creaky? Ironically, right, when you walk in, they give you headphones and a little, like, a little device, right? And as you walk in, there's like, um, you know, like when you scan yourself in with a key card or something. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So in every room you walked into, you tap this thing and then they tell you it in your language what, what the room was, what happened uh, around this that's time. That's pretty decent. Sounds good. What you're actually doing is 100 people sneaking around a house in silence. <laughs> Brilliant. <Jesus>. Ironically. <laughs> <laughs> I literally had that fault in the last room, like... You just made us all walk around in silence like she did. <laughs> Mate, I'm, I'm running out of patience with these Jews. They're, get, they're getting less and less sympathy from me nowadays. Yeah. Are we talking first hand or in the news or shit? I'm talking all round left hand, uppercut and right You've been up. duppying Jews in the street? Mate, we don't need to do it, go into it heavily because we, you know, we're, we're not... I, mean, I might look more Jewy than you, <laughs> but... No, sorry. We don't need to get into it, but yeah, man, the Jews, are, they're getting a bad rep at the minute. What, again, locally or like on the news and shit? On the news and shit, but I think it's justified. They've been building motherfucking tunnels in New York. Why, why are you doing that? Mm. Who's digging? To get any planning permission in New York, you could go through Trump. So they went under. That's not that bad. They went under, started digging tunnels. To where? Pulling out bloody mattresses. To where? Don't know. Like, just... Like, if you're telling me they're building underground German concentration camps and there's, getting their own There's back, a theory goes back to the Prohibition, and it was, like, for booze smuggling, but obviously with nefarious connotations yeah, nowadays. Yeah, but why are they building that now? That's one of the things these Jews are up to, man. The Jews have replaced the Chinese in terms of sneaking. Sneaky motherfuckers. We're hearing, we're hearing much more about it. I'm not, gonna, I'm not getting involved in the whole Gaza of Israel war. That's not my bag. No, not touching it. But you've got to keep an eye on these Jews, man. Talking of Chinese... Sneaky motherfucker. Well, I'm going to turn the tables again because you just said the Jews have probably outdone them. No, mate, I'm about to bring it home, right? Yeah, well, don't ever underestimate the Chinese when it comes to levels of sneakiness, bro. They, they invented the sneaky game. You said about doing a podcast the other day and I didn't want to prep anything. It's like, look, it's been ages, we've got shitloads to talk about. But I did think to myself, I've got to have something Chinese in there, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's like a non-negotiable. <laughs> like the American government, got to have a bit of Chinese in here. So I randomly just Googled a simple term, crazy Chinese laws. Why? Right. It just came out. I was like, crazy. it's got to be mean? crazy. It's got to be Chinese. And then like the most searched thing was laws. And I'm like, well, that Oh, God, yeah. So like shit they've passed is law. Like, these are laws that right. are still in play now. And yeah. this was... I remember we done this for like old mad English ones. This was February what was this that? year. What, what was the old English one we did where you, could, you couldn't run faster than a car and you couldn't cross look at a salmon or something? Oh, yeah. No, it's, you couldn't look at a salmon provocatively or something. Suspiciously. Wasn't it? Suspiciously. That, that was, was it. it. That was fucking weird. Sorry, go on. Sorry, you were mugging on that. But right. yeah. So you thought that was weird. Yeah. yeah? They, they were great stats. First one. Off the, ba- off the bat. Go on then. 
Cars are not allowed to stop at crosswalks. What's the crosswalk there for then? No, it's illegal for you to stop there. Is it? Yeah. Why? So I don't think it's all of it, right? But it's the Beijing traffic laws. So it states power-driven vehicle is forbidden to stop at a pedestrian crossing and even face a fine. Fucking hardcore. Why? And I'm guessing it's a little to jaywalk as well, so you're fucked. <laughs> so what is it? Is it like a higher death mortality rate in China? Like in crossing roads? Well, I'm but guessing so. Out? If you're not legally allowed to stop when you it's, see a person a fucking, there's a lot crossing of them. the road. There's a fucking lot of them, so them roads get busy, man. Here's a good one for you. Yeah. Intentionally having sex with another man's wife is not allowed. Yeah, thou shall not fuck their neighbour in the arse, innit? No, 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 no. There's one word in there that completely intentionally. changes. Intentionally? Yeah. Accidentally. So if you unintentionally sleep with another man's wife, <laughs> perfectly legal. I could unintentionally hit you in the face with my cock right now. Perfectly yeah, legal? But how can you unintentionally sleep with someone? Whoever the lawyer was that got that law passed, fucking he was genius. fucking his client's wife. Fucking genius. Wow. So from now on... Say that again to make it make sense. Yeah. Intentionally having sex with another man's wife is not allowed. Yeah, that intentionally really does change the context, doesn't it? So, Your Honour... I know what they're saying. Like it's, it's almost like a bad Chinese translation, but it changes the context. Your Honour, what happened was I caught her naked, got rock hard, fell onto a skateboard <laughs> that rolled me all the way <laughs> towards her, through the window in the bushes. I've seen it happen. <laughs> seen it happen. But to happen twice, that'd be unheard of. Now, you know for a fact that you are fucking around in China, having affairs and going, there's accident, Your Honour. Oh, you don't, mate. That government controls fucking every inch of your life. Don't fuck about. Yeah, funny you say that. Oh, is it? Go on. Dating a colleague is not allowed. Nah, it's not even allowed here. I'm, no. a, I'm a manager in no. my position at work. I'm not allowed to fuck anyone. By who? Up or down. Yeah, by your company. Yeah. Try being the government. Yeah. So it's just as good as you breaking and entering or stealing. Do the Chinese actually have sex? Are they not just a lot of anti-insemination? I don't think they want them to touch each other, to be honest with you. I watch a lot of porn. I don't watch a lot of Chinese porn. There's not a lot of that in the market. Nah, so it makes me think they're not having sex. Might as well watch Minecraft. It's all pixelated. Mm, I think the porn industry is pretty representative accurately of how much sex is happening in the world. <laughs> in China. There's a lot of videos about insecure daddy issue bitches, <laughs> for example. Just saying that. <laughs> not a lot of Chinese porn. Japanese porn, fucking loads of that. This step Chinese not a lot. shit is weird. Yeah. Can't get on board. The what, sorry? Step-sibling. Step-sibling. Step-sister. Um, step I don't brother. know, I used to have a step-sibling. I the fucked her. I've seen her, and why? No, not that one. <laughs> oh, no, 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 not that one. The other one. Okay. You never met her. I don't know if you can... I don't know if you're allowed to think that, let alone say it out loud. Even if the mics weren't on... There's no blood relation in there, man. If I find that girl fit, I'm going to stick a dick in her. Okay, I'm we were just like we were leave. raised from birth. I didn't meet her until I was like fifteen. But they're blood, half blood. I remember when she was fifteen. She had big tits. I was like, yeah, that's some of me. I was just going through puberty, and I was like, God damn. But they're half blood. No. Oh, they're nothing. Step, step's not blood. Right. Okay. Well, oh, no, they, they might, they might use that term actually. But this was by um, remarried. No, my dad, okay, yeah, yeah. My dad remarried some. That might change the game. A fucking hot door. And I was sure that puts an element of risk in there. It's like, don't push a red button. You're like, oh, but the red button looks real good. But socially, granted, if we'd, have, <laughs> if we'd have been born and raised from the age of one together, then yeah, it's wrong. It's morally wrong, socially. That's, that's some up. fucking white trailer trash hillbilly yeah, shit right there. <laughs> to be fair, if I just met you and somebody said, you know, you're my quarter sister, but you was hot and I'd never met you. I'd be more shocked that I was a sister. That's a syndrome, man. It happens a lot. The, the coincidence of not knowing someone's your sibling, but them ending up together is mental. Like, the coincidence would be so much higher than a random relationship, and they call it some sort of um, sibling affection syndrome, they call it. So even if you don't even know that person's your sibling, you're, you're more likely to be attracted to them than the girl standing next to them. Yeah, but is that because of, like, the gene pool and that? And... I don't know. It's just some, some weird genetic... It's got to be genetic. Some weird genetic pool. You're just attracted pool? to pool. your own family. Not mine, bro. 
<laughs> Children are required to salute passing cars. Who's in the car? I salute magpies. It's just the I do tradition well, kind of thing. I, I, I don't know if I salute them, but I say the rhyme in my head. I do the little tap above the eyebrow. Right. Hello, was it hello, right, Mr. Right, magpie? Boy. Yeah, all right, boy. Every passing car, that's got to get a bit weird. annoying. If it, it was a presidential motor or blockade or whatever, yeah, I'd get, don't get me wrong, I'd you know, give it a little tilt myself. But I mean, this is only in a, a little province where the kids of the school are obligated by law. Is it to, like a safety measure to um, stop them running? I don't know. So every time they see a car, they've got to stop and salute. So they're not fucking running out in front of the traffic. Surely that comes back to like old times where... If you had dough, you was fucking rich. You was the only cunt that could afford a car. Yeah. And you're like, now it's law for you to wave at me, peasants. No, I'm thinking more like to stop running because they're only little cunts. They're not going to be able to see over the top of the bonnet, are they? They're going to fucking mow down loads of them. You're talking about the adults or the kids. Yeah, all of them. They're going <laughs> to mow down loads of them. You, you ain't going to see a kid from further than 10... Well, as soon as you get to 10 foot, you're not seeing that kid over the bonnet of a Chinese car. <laughs> <laughs> Even as they get older... When they're like eight years old, they're smaller than their five-year-old grand, great-grandchild. Compact people. <laughs> Good gymnasts. Great gymnasts. Compact. The death penalty is wild there. Like, you're fed to pigs? It's still in practice. You, what? You're fed to fucking pigs? More people. No, not pigs. People. They ain't got pigs. They're eating them. their own fucking people. <laughs> I'd do that. Listen, fucking you bastard. Chomo. <laughs> More people are put to death in China than in all other countries combined. But again, there's a lot of them cunts. So they're all Asian, yeah. If you said a percentage per capita, I could rock with you. No, but we're talking Japan, um, both Koreas, uh, like what? all the not, little Thailand, the same, Indonesia, not Malaysia. The same country. You can't add them all together. No, this is what I'm saying. Add them all together. They look the still, fucking same, but... It's still less than the people put together. They're different countries. Here's an interesting one. Time travel shows and movies are banned. Oh, why though? Right. Because they're the cleverest cunts at figuring it out. I and they're so they're close to finding it out. It out. Yeah, and they're, they're like, like oh, yeah. we ain't going to tell you the secret. And it's watching Star like, Trek. There's... The secret's in Star Trek, motherfucker. They're all sitting there sweating like Back to the Future had it so they close. They fucking had it bang on. Where's my hoverboard, bitch? And it, it's just like, oh, this stuff's coming true. What if they're going to know that actually if you drive your DeLorean at 82 mile an hour or whatever it is. That's why DeLorean went out of business, bruv. Chinese come in and bought them, innit? Oh, my days. So the coolest looking car. How the fuck are people not buying DeLoreans? X-Wing fucking cars with doors like that go up. Doors, coolest yeah. ever looking shit. No idea how they drove. No idea about the quality of structure, etc. But how is a company that's making that car that gets into fucking Hollywood going out of business? Chinese motherfuckers <laughs> shut that shit down. And... <laughs> What about a Chinese remake? Because Back to the Future with Chinese actors is basically Karate Kid. I'd watch that. <laughs> Other way round as well. I'd like to see Marty in Karate Kid with Michael J. Fox. Kupia! No, no, he's got no composure nowadays, is he? Well, not now. <laughs> he's all fidgety. No, I now. think he's getting better, you know. Is it? Yeah, I think so. Oh, he's got that Magic Johnson's cure thing. Yeah, yeah. He's, he's got that. He's got them peas he's got that to be government. able to... Government funded. He's got the cure to HIV just sitting in his back pocket. Hey, they've, all, they've all got the fucking cures to everything, bro. I'm telling you. You've got, got enough the... money and your clearance is high enough. You get a fucking couple of peptides over the weekend, cure cancer. You'll be <laughs> fucking right as rain, son, come Monday morning. Talking of cancer, so something that's happened in the last year, big things. Prince Charles got cancer. Yeah, And then Charlie somehow boy. sneezed and now Kate's got cancer. Yeah, so they say, man. Well, all I know is there was a photo that had been edited, yet no one knew what the original was. And then a week yeah. later, she comes out and she's suffering with cancer and going through treatment. There's just been some odd stuff, right? So you've got the Charlie side of things, uh, which I think is probably genuine. Uh, no doubt, you look at him and he, he, the years come off him already. I don't, I'm not sure if we've um, done a pod since Liz went. Yeah, no, we have. And we've done King <clears> Charles when he got... Um, right. Coronated Yeah that one But he looks now Like he's fucking Had 10 years on a job It's stressful this shit man He's not like a football manager His hair's just gone white Well you look at the Queen 
she was like all like lovely, lovely, normal old lady until about 2000s to 2010s. And then fucking, it must be social media and that. They're like, oh, mate, they're going to catch Andrew. Fucking no oh, time. Oh, yeah, stress, yeah. Knowing that net's closing in, which it is. You know what I mean? It is. The whole... That Nobody's fucking driver's going to go to a r- newspaper or yeah. just post it. No one's, that'd be one thing that comes out, man. <laughs> I guarantee you, once the net closes in and people get squeezed, the more people get squeezed, the more things we're going to find out. I don't see the point in a royal family now, apart from tourism. Not going to lie. I think a lot of it's bullshit anyway. The whole they go, oh, it brings you an X amount. Yeah, who's telling me that? The BBC. Oh, that are funded yeah. by the British government. And how do you know? Because when have they been like, off on holiday for a week. Well, when they had to go back and change their lizard skins. <laughs> when they had to fucking appear in court for Andrew, cunt. Mate, I'm telling you, there was a, there's the mad geezer that we all know, David Ickle or David Eichel, who uh, was had a career in TV and then went mental and started saying that everyone in the royal family was a lizard. Mad shit to be saying. That geezer also said a bunch of other mad shit. Where... I don't know what his percentage conversion rate is, but some shit he said. There's a guy called Alex Jones. Yeah, he American came out dude. with about twenty yeah, yeah. wild, wild conspiracy. A couple theories. of them were true, you know. Ten, fifteen years ago, man, I would say fifty percent of them have been proven true now. So, at what point do you stop classing information as a conspiracy? And bearing in mind, there's a lot of people who have invested in that conspiracy that will pay a lot of money to discredit and make yeah, people yeah, look. Yeah, yeah. Like they're talking like they're shit. crazy, yeah, To yeah. the point they'd feed them stories of fake stories to see if they'd leak yes. that. Yeah, yeah. Or say that, and then they'd go, ah, that's bullshit. It's all you like know. the Roswell shit. You, that, yeah, you, you can't trust yeah, anything yeah. they say. So, yeah, well, man, when did, well, what do we need to be paying attention to today that people are saying is a conspiracy? Well, you look, you've got know. Jimmy Savile, you've got all those fucking 70s presenters that died and then got done for it, right? MJ, yeah? That was all, why were they not conspiracies back in the day? I'm starting to think that MJ was fucking innocent. Um, yeah, no, I think I convinced myself. When that last documentary came out with those two dudes and it was all about living in Neverland, when it? That was it, Neverland. Um, I was just like, oh, you two cunts are lying. Fuck, maybe they were all lying. It's funny to take the piss still, though. Yeah, when that's, you be, when you the be, thought process. when you become a threat to the machine, which Jacko did, man, he become fucking massive. I'm sure he said that he was gonna reveal some secrets about the industry. Um, yeah, there's footage. I've seen it. There's footage with his last tour, wasn't it? Mm-hmm. And then obviously he didn't make it. There's one of his famous songs where it's like, "Beat me, hate me, they ain't never." Yeah, if you go back and listen to that lyrics and knowing it and apply it to the context you know now about the Hollywood industry, it's like. Oh, yeah, man, he, yeah. Get, he weren't just trying to tell us, he fucking told us. <laughs> He's screaming like, oh, Lord, in your face. And you're like, oh, yes, catch it. <laughs> but, mate, the whole, the whole music industry is, is looking more and more sketchy by the day. There's always been some fucking creepos rocking around, but this whole P. Diddy shit, fam, you've seen this. Um, right, I have, but all I've seen is like memes about him being a pedo, basically. But there's... I've, I'm sure I even Googled it and there was like nothing from news stories like BBC News and the, all that the, shit. The term pedo described the case. It's, it's not really what it's about. It's not about that. Um, is he another Epstein? He's a, yeah, he's essentially Epstein. So what they're saying, and there's lots of footage, man, like Kanye, there's pretty much footage of him on video going back like 15, 20 years and he calls Diddy a fed. I feel like I've seen this or heard it or my, I feel like Snoop Dogg tells it on a TV program or something. Yeah, go on. Well, it starts from the fact that P. Diddy's parties are legendary. Yeah, they're meant to be the best in the whole They They, they know this. Now, you can go to P. Diddy's house on any one night and you're going to get two different parties. Oh, is it like that then? Instead of an island, he's got like a basement or something? No. It's more of a case of like, these motherfuckers are gremlins and they eat food after 12 and turn crazy. What? So... A lot of people get invited to his house. Yeah. It gets to a certain point in the night. Yeah. And that's where some, it starts to turn. It's like midnight. Yeah, what's going on? Are you just goes mad. Some like lizard the, people the, shit. No, no, no. no. The like that shit goes on, the more freaky shit gets. Because 
rumoured to be Diddy's fucking pouring shits into people's drinks left, right and centre. There's all kinds of debauchery going on left, right and centre. He'd hire male oh. prostitutes to fuck female Hollywood actors and female prostitutes to fuck Hollywood. It was, like, it was absolutely debauched. But this motherfucker, which has been confirmed, had cameras in every single room. And you know how many powerful people in the game have been to that house? Not just musicians, politicians, fucking White House candidates, all sorts of shit. He's done an Epstein, man. How does an but ugly, he's got it on video at his house. How does an ugly ass motherfucker with no rapping skills get to be, become one of the most important people in hip hop? And then how oh, does his shit. mate Jay Z standing next to him get the same shit? What do you mean? Jay Z's way up in the tower. How does that yeah. motherfucker get to the top of the tree? Oh no, he can rap. Can he rap one billion? Yeah. Diddy and Jay go back. Lots of footage of them two. Yeah, some good old boys club. Now, I'm skimming the surface. I know I'm talking a lot here, but I'm skimming the surface. Right. So, I mean, there was part of that where I'm like, yeah, but it's Diddy. Like, if I go to Diddy's house, and I'm thinking of Diddy as a rap artist, used to be a bit of a thug. Powerful man and in he a powerful can't position. hook me up with a prostitute, I'd be like, no, well, no, you no, ain't so fucking that's fine. Diddy. That's fine. So that's how they get right? And if I've got all that money in a big ass house, I'm going to have cameras in every room. Yeah, of course. But that's how they get you. Once they got you, you're theirs. Yeah. So if you go to him now, and you, and you, try to, shit, you try to renegotiate your, uh, for example, say you're an artist. You go to renegotiate your contract. You've had number one smash off your album. And he's he got says, a video you sniffing coke nigger. off of and what, ass. what he would say, they'd get <laughs> loads of underage girls in. That was one of the things. So it's like pedo sense. It's what they got R. Kelly on. It's one of his videos. Shit. Um, drugs. So got is everything. He'd been, he, yeah, drugs are drugs. <laughs> they're they're big rap stars. If they ain't doing drugs, I'd, then they ain't rap stars to me. So a lot of people, including Fifty Cent, he's from day one been very standoffish with uh, Diddy. Yes, he always calls him. Yeah, yeah, real fruit pop. You know, <laughs> real fruit pop. Well, I always heard. I know there was an interview he did on like radio. Yeah, he has done a few interviews. To be fair about it. Yeah, but he says about, like, Diddy wanted to take him shopping. He was like, yeah. what? I'm not yeah. a bitch. You can't just go and take me shopping. Yeah, tell him, like, fuck off. And Dre and all the other side, isn't it? West side. Oh, the whole East Coast, West Coast. The amount of stuff you're hearing. There was always a rumour, always a rumour that Diddy was involved. In what? In uh, Tupac. Always a rumour. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And always Shug Knight. a rumour. Suge Knight. Like, it, essentially, it comes down to Suge Knight and a P. Diddy story. So... Two massive battling producers, East Coast, West Coast, trying to run game, like selling singles, etc. But one of you motherfuckers is backed by the CIA or the FBI or the American <laughs> government. Whichever branch it was that reached out and fucking cameraed up Diddy's house, he works with them. Always been rumours that American agencies were involved in the biggie shooting, for example. Let's just say Puff Daddy strategically, and you know the whole rumours oh, about... Oh, fuck off. If Diddy killed... Biggie, no. You know the whole rumours about hip-hop being completely funded by the government to disenfranchise a, and disrupt a generation? Going back, hip-hop just exploded out of nowhere, come out of nowhere, uh, died instantly. There was all controlled and funded government style. And if you're looking at people like uh, Diddy and Jay-Z, have gone to be billionaires for being whack-ass rappers. I think that's your proof. Diddy shit, I like Jay. All right, don't get me wrong, we, we have debated Jay, he's got flow, he's got dip, yeah, but... Man. Should he be not you know in the best of your field? Don't always don't, get because I top. tend to listen to his older, older stuff. Oh, he was good, man. I like him. Even What's if I find out that he's like know? some satanic worshiping motherfucker, which they're all saying about these politicians oh, and rap yeah. stars, they were worship Satan. But if it turns out to be a satanic worshiping, I'm still gonna play his beats. Hell, yeah. man, I was playing Michael Jackson for the last 10 years. I only just believed that motherfucker didn't rape kids, mate. Can't knock the hustle. That is an old school. Classic J beat. That is an old school classic J beat, man. And that's what I think when I think Jay Z. That's before he was a 96. Lizard person. 96. Pedo. That's before <laughs> they got to him, man. That's before they got him fucking sucking off some young boy's dick at PJ. Nah. <laughs> hey, 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 enough about this, though. We're going to get the fucking feds going, knocking down the door, man. 
Um, <laughs> but the, the reason, I suppose, that we decided to get it back in, in the room and, and do another podcast was this thing that I come up to you the other day, I text you. Absolutely right? brilliant. You text me probably, I don't know, about eight, nine o'clock at night on a random weekday evening. I think, I think going to a much detail. Question. I literally you just, just asked me this question. Yeah, I went, a football team, but everyone is a movie character. And you just went ham. I wasn't expecting <laughs> you to actually go respond to this, but you went ham. <laughs> you put your shit down. It you was get, good you, get, as you, well. you gave reasoning. And then you outright challenged me to put another 11 down, which I weren't prepared for, because you noticed it didn't come straight back. I was like, man, oh, my fuck, I need to think about well, this. Well, look, let's put this in context for everyone, right? Because I think the way you read the conversation is the best, yeah? You literally said what you, what you just said. Darth Vader and Chewie as my centre-back to start yeah. with, solid base. I think I dropped them. And I came in, and this is when you should have known I was serious. All I replied was, same movie or any movie. Yeah, that was, that's a tell. I should, reading it back, that's a tell. I'm like, right, I'm ready to go in because this is, I've never thought of this and it could make my week. And that's exactly when, that's when you should have known like, oh, he's about to go in. Yeah, I should have. But I need to clarify the roles and watch this space. And all you put was any movie. And then my message had a read more and probably could have had two. (laughs) Position for position. You tell me yours, I'll tell you mine. Yeah, right, okay, you let me go first. Yeah, and we debate. Who gets into okay. the uh, end team? I want a witness for oh, your bullshit. I feel that's a clever move for you because the if people <clears> listen to this and the last one they hear is going to be fresh in their mind, I think my one kills it. Mix it up. Go on then, who you got? Okay. And uh, Do you know what? I'm just going to read the chat because I gave perfectly good reasoning, right? Yeah. GK. Yoda. Right. Argue your case. Cool, but, but just nothing. No, because I already know he's not winning, so argue your case. Okay, so everyone's seen Star Wars where he just bounces around on fucking walls. He mm-hmm. can stop everything with a force. You can fire a million BAR, bullets at him. VAR won't allow that shit, bruv. That'd be outside. He can't help it. It's you're, a tick. You're, you're essentially putting a green midget in goal that can't reach the corners. I'm banging top bins every time. This motherfucker can control the force. You can't use that on the pitch. I'll, is... put, I'll put a false blocker in his goal. How do you know? All right, if we can't use that on the pitch, yeah, then that rules yeah, out you, every... you just fucked yourself. Nah. Do you nah, want to you, reconsider? You fucked yourself because now you're not allowed any superhero because you're saying that they can't use their powers Yeah, the I'm just saying you can't use your powers. Unless it's natural power. It's Yoda, bitch. Nah, actually, go on. There's I'll nothing give you more that. natural right, so than Yoda, the force. Yoda's got the force. I could beat the force. You can't score within those... Three lines, the post, the crossbar. You Ronaldo's cannot... free kick, Portsmouth, over the top knuckleball. That's beating any fucking Yoda force. saw it a week before. <laughs> he would as well, actually, <laughs> wouldn't he? <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, 80 seconds. Oh, should you win? <laughs> Edge of box. For All right, now. Well, well, I'm not going to lie. That's a pretty decent shout. Which You I'm, cannot I'm, score. I'm a little bit annoyed that I didn't think of that myself. Because I, I was thinking physical. I was going physical range. I my goalkeeper. Need, nah, I don't need my goalkeeper to be you know, beating people up. You know I need I him to stop the ball. No, I went for the BFG. Rangy. No one's going top bins against that geezer. He's getting yeah, there. Yeah, but the taller they are, the slower they are. They're flapping Imagine here. you put one between the, the arm, the oh, foot and the hand. Vulnerable down low. Exactly. Takes a while to get down. That's a nutmeg opportunity Fucking all day. Hell. Yoda... He just <laughs> and just stop it. No, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I'll, I'll and if sp- anything, Yoda will probably make it float in the air, eat you in the face, and then go down the other end and teach score. you a lesson. You, you'll learn a metaphor out of it. The, the rest, there you go. I need a full right, one nil, one nil to Mikey FC. Yoda, my guy. Right, I'm going in then. Left back. Yep. Forrest Gump. Explain. <laughs> <laughs> that boy can fucking. Run. He can run for days. That's an important... Days? He ran for that, like... That's an important... A year and a half. A I watched this film back. about two weeks ago. You need stamina. You've got to get... Your modern fallback is asking up and down. Uh, easily up and down. What, what else is he Not only in? that, yeah. he's got that retard strength. <laughs> They're strong cunts, aren't they? He, have you seen him when they... Like some guys try it with the girl that he likes and he just runs over and fucking clumps them, gets on top of them... MMA beating the fuck out of I did see a slightly disappointing video today, though. It's in, you know, France. France is fucked. Um, it was on a train platform, 
and it was a local future doctor assaulting a kid with Down syndrome on a platform trying to nick his wallet. Okay, that's... Fucking just grabbed him, nooked him, tried to rob him, beat him. I was like, oh, I was led to believe you cunts were strong. <laughs> you fucking gave your back up there, son. Well, a Forrest Gump has proven it, and he's my left back shout. He is not going to stop running, it and he will get charge through you. I think that's an old school quite type of left back, isn't it? Old school. It was between him and um, Bobby from Waterboy. Okay, well, you don't get, you, you don't, you don't get to discuss two. You only get one. That's so who you put on your, right, on your sheet. Right, do it. My one, I think I've gone a bit more modern. Go on. I think you need more in the modern game. You can't just get up and down. Anyone can run up and down. A fucking retard, like you just said, can run up and down. I like to run. I think you need a bit of a sink magic. <laughs> that was a, a good impression, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I, I think, like to run. <laughs> I, I think you need something a little bit special left back nowadays. A little bit of magic. Luke Shaw things. Luke Shaw things. You need something a little bit creative. So, obviously, I'm going for my boy, Potter. Harry what, Potter, HP? Bit, bit mysterious. And what you absolutely need for anybody on the left side of a pitch, an absolute wand of a left foot. You bird. dirty cunt. <laughs> you dirty cunt. <laughs> so, for everyone listening, I fucking I'll win that on the pun you. alone. I text you my first 11. Suck your mum. You've stolen one of my you boys. You can play your players anywhere you want. Suck your mum. All right. All right. You're going with HP over Forrest Gump. All right, that beats you. You could fucking retard running the ball out of play. My guy's yeah, crossing. But hold on. Hold on. I'm talking Patrice Evra. You call him Patrice Evra a retard? No. I love this <laughs> game. No, 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 no. He was a don, and he was a terminator. Was a don. Was a don. He would run through. You're just describing left back. People. You just told no, me about Forrest I'm motherfucking not. gun, but all he does is run. So if you're saying, run no, the I'm, way talk, I play. I'm talking about being solid as well. Harry Potter is not solid unless he's got a wand in his hand. Andy Robinson, Liverpool left back, second assist scorer in he's the Premier the League. He's the Scottish Forrest Gump. What's yeah. your problem? Nah, one all. Uh, centre backs. Who you got the heart? Well, you ain't beating him. You got the heart. Hulk. Solid. Aggie. He will get annoyed with the rest of his team. You'll get sent off a lot, though, wouldn't he? I don't know. Lose his temper. When you say high foot, as he steps, he's already got his foot above your head. Imagine that there's some weird machine that makes everything parallel to your molecular level. So if you had Hulk going up against Ant-Man, you're going in on a 50-50 fair tackle. Um, no, 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 no. Don't be trying to slip that in. No, no, no. That's what she Hulk. said. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, she didn't say that to Hulk. <laughs> she didn't fucking call you Hulk. I know that much. Mate, you ain't beating him. He will... You've got right, to who do... You part, who are you partnering him up with? Let me have a look at this overall partnership. Well, so we've spoken before and said about, do you pick your team based on... centre back should do. No, hold on. Do you pick your team based on what's going to work well as a team? Or do you just go Galacticos and pick all the best players in that position? Nah, centre-backs you have to think about. I think that's the only relationship. So, you and I have both played centre-back most of our careers. That's the only position you have to think about relationships. So, Hulk and John Wick. Them motherfuckers don't know each other. Who gives a fuck? They've never been in the same motherfucking film. Do you think your two centre-backs knew each other since they were kids? Hulk and John Wick. John Wick, if you're getting past the Hulk, then no, this motherfucker will definitely you up. My, my guys definitely don't know each other. Right. There you go. John Wick will just... Hulk is so big, right? You've got to really turn wide to get round him. All right. So and that's if you rock. do, John that's Wick just slides in that's and just rock. fucking... John Wick's like assassin style. Takes out the other 10 that's and then decent. passes the ball. To, so to we're, we're basically saying like Vidic, Ferdinand. Um, well... That? The movie equivalent. But you ain't beating the Hulk. I'm sorry. Go on. As a centre-back pairing, I've gone Captain America as one because he's the ultimate defensive shield. There is no better man in the law of any kind of world that is a better defensive shield than Captain America. Harvey Price. (laughs) (laughs) And I'll tell you who I'm going to put next to Hold on. There's no better shield in the world. Captain America over the Hulk. The guy's emblem is literally a motherfucking shield, Holmes. Yeah, but he's not very good in the air. That's another. Does he not fly? No. Is he not? 
No, he can jump really high, but... Yeah, so can the Hulk, to be fair. The Hulk is that high. I reckon he's got a temperament problem, Yoko. I reckon you can wind him up. You know, you get, you get him booked early 100%. doors. Get him booked in the first five minutes, he'll get taken the off. The problem after. is, you're not going to bring on a sub for the guy he injures because he will be dead. <laughs> <laughs> True. you have to call the game off. True. Get, I don't care. Who, if he do dies, you, right. he dies. If that happens, Hulk actually... Like squashes someone into the floor during Boy, the game. Wait, that quote brings me on to my centre back. Actually, if he dies, he dies. <laughs> what you got? Ivan fucking Drago, mate. And I thought with this, and this is where I'm thinking more BFG and going uh... physics. So I was thinking Ivan Drago, Vidic at the back. Some hard, double hard Euro- Eastern European drug taking cunt. No so, slander on, on Vidic. So Drago and. Drago go and Captain America. Solid as a rock. rock. No, the... Ball winner, Drago. They're not very quick, bro. Defensive bruv. sweeper, Captain America. They're not very quick, bro. You not? Nah. Did you not see Drago running around a test track? Nah. Drago is Vidic, but Hulk out does him. Well, I'm prepared to go one. John Wick. And one. I'm prepared to John split the Wick. points. No. Hulk. Sorry. No, I'm, I'm claiming both. Hulk beats Drago. Mm. Yeah. All right. Yeah. And... John Wick beats Captain America. Not a chance. What are you? Ultimate what defensive shield. Mean? That's one all. One all. Right. Two all. Where you want to go? Centre mids? No, right back. We've only done left back, centre backs. You've done right. Right back. I definitely haven't done this. I don't actually think you're going to beat him. Are you fucking mad? I've just looked at what I've got down. Are you mad? This or hand. So <laughs> say that again for people that aren't racist. The Zohan, Adam Sandler, Zohan. don't mess with the Zohan. And I've got to work with this. This is what you're bringing to this fucking podcast. The Zohan. Do not badmouth the Zohan. You do not want this. Okay, so tell me why the Zohan. Have you seen the Zohan? He yes. will kick yeah. your ass. Why is he good for a right back? What, what quality is he bringing um, to the right back spot? He's super at absolutely everything. He can throw a fish up from a barbecue and catch it in his arse sheets. How's that, that going to help me ups. out when I've got Saka fucking tearing down the ring? Right, let me help you out here, bro. Mate, let's, okay. Let's shut this one down early doors because I think you're you're I think you're losing. Are the you argument. kidding me? Right, okay. He's a Palestinian, <laughs> right? Hey. Already hard Easy. Cunt. Easy. Right? Who is singularly used as an army to go into the opposition territory and just fuck everyone up because you can fire a bullet at him and he just dodges it or catches it. Gay hairdresser. Okay. Hey. He loved the curve. <laughs> the silk I, is smooth. Mate, I'll, see, I'll see what you're saying. Mate, he kicks ass. He's got stamina for days. He can do amazing things. You must believe this. I think you've made the mistake here. No. Nah. Thinking how this geezer's going to perform in a fight rather than a football pitch. Because my guy... No, he does hacky sack with like a million different kick-ups. He can do anything. He is the Zohan. All right. So... Your guy. I'm not buying that. I'm not having that at all. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, I'm literally not. As soon as you said his name, I was like, Jesus Christ, you got? I'm going to have to sell this. Who you got? Who have I got? I've got what, what do you want at a right back? This I have. <laughs> you, want, you want some fucking you psycho... You did team me up for that. Some, some psycho European nutcase. You're going Stuart Pearce kind of... Yeah, like you want, you're one of them geezers. Don't give a fuck. We'll break their leg and happily tack out and tackle again. Just a fucking nutcase. So naturally, I've gone Taz from Looney Tunes. <laughs> you're not fucking. You're not beating him in a tackle, are you? He's oh, winning he's every got tackle. No composure. Well, neither's your fucking Hulk. He's got more composure than what do you Hulk. Mean? Snap, hey. snap into the tackle. No space given. He's going to stick to you like glue. Ain't what does he stop. do when he's got the ball? He's going to fuck up your game. He's going to hit it. It's going to go miles. <laughs> the Zahan. The Zahan will do that. But it'll, the also do, it'll also do skills and kick ups. A bit like having Cafu right, right Let's back. call this a draw. So we have a point. No fight. fucking way. I'm claiming this. We'll come back Surely to this. Surely we we'll get a veto. We'll come back to this. I'm we'll claiming this. We'll right, so we, we're both oh. playing two two across the middle, centre mids? Um, I'm going with a holding and two cams. All right, give me your centre three. Okay. Starting in CDM. I, I'm sure I'm winning this. Doctor Strange. Might seem odd. What do you want from your holding mid? Do you want him to be able to read the game and just be in the right place at the right time to shut shit down? Yeah? This motherfucker can see into the future. Are you basically describing Declan Rice? 
No, it's, it's Benedict Cumberbatch, motherfucker. It's Sherlock, right? Well, they, these are decent qualities for a centre back, mate. I'm t- well, no, for a CDM, Doctor yeah. Strange, he can see into the future, <coughs> and then he can use his rings to create a hole and literally turn up where you are and nick the ball off you. All right, ain't a bad shot. I think Bar might have something to say with that. Do you, do you want to your other team? Won't I'm, pick it up. I'm playing a different formation. I'm playing okay. two centres and one attacking. So you do yours. And then I've got two cams, right? Now, I think of this kind of formation as I want them two to create. Right. I need them to slide balls through to strikers and wingers and just get on the ball and make something happen. Yeah, right? cool. I want, a bit like the Zohan, silky smooth. Right? First up, Bond. James fucking Bond. Too busy fucking pussy to play football. He is silky smooth with it. A silent assassin. Ultimate Bagman. A silent. That's what I want. I want that little Coutinho that used to just pop up. I ain't talking Bagman in goals. I'm talking Bagman as in pussy. That guy used to bag. Yeah. But as a player. All of them. Mate. He's trained by the MI or whatever. Well, I will say, you, you did describe him as being silky smooth, a silent assassin, and provides the best service for his country, which I quite like. I mean, put him in an England shirt and if he can, do you reckon Bond to be he your turns captain? into later David Beckham where he just ran up and down the pinch. I reckon I reckon people. looking at the rest of your line up line up, sorry, I reckon Bond's your captain. Um prob- he's my Bobby Moore. Okay. Right. right. Go on then. And to the side of him who you stole I, no, I, also I get put this. this first. I get this. Harry Potter. I get this. Right. A little nimble. For reasons. Decent he is in Quidditch. Literally a fucking magician. <laughs> right? And that's what I want. That's I want prescri- yep, describe. David Silver, little poking balls through, popping up in places you didn't expect him to be and shit. He's nimble on a broom. And also, the only sport that he does currently, Quidditch, he spots that tiny little fucking ball that flies around and no one can see. He can fucking pinpoint. What's that called? Um, snitch. Snitches snitch. get stitches, snitch. bitches. Um, <clears throat> but he can literally pinpoint in on that. So imagine him seeing a gap and feeding the ball through. Right, no, fair play. That's 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 decent in terms of creativity. Beat that as a now mid. we are we are playing different formations, and it could be one out on the wings. Right, so that's so not that's not to say our centre mids ain't going to decide the game. So I'm playing something a little bit different. I'm going a flat two across the middle and one in behind the strikers. Oh, okay. So, yeah, you're still playing three in the middle. You've just gone with one cam and two holding. Yeah. Right. So, for me, this is where the whole reason behind this comes. So, I am going Darth Vader and Chewie across the middle. Yeah, but they... Uh, okay. Now, the greatest teams in the world are built on brilliant midfields. And the greatest midfields yep. are built on brilliant partnerships. Yeah. In a franchise... I know they weren't partnerships on uh, in well, the films. Carry on. <laughs> But <laughs> carry on, my repping, friend. Repping their areas are they two stronger characters. Now, bearing in mind, I like characteristics in my okay. midfield. So when I was thinking about this, I was thinking about Vader, right? Yeah. Face. He's basically Beckenbauer, right? Tall, evil cunt. Probably killed Jews. <laughs> right? <laughs> he was in the contract. Signed for Bayern Munich. Killed twenty Jews. I don't know. I don't know how it worked. But he's basically a tall cunt. <laughs> And uh, probably a bit evil. A little bit like Darth Vader. <laughs> and then you've got Chewie next to him. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> Just a beast, you know. That beast that every midfield needs. He's a beast. Give us your best, Chewie. It's all cunt. <laughs> Not bad. <laughs> that's a little just blown everyone's ear holes off. So that's my midfield. I'm thinking strong partnership. They're bringing different things. They're, that's a naughty midfield. You, you ain't getting through that easy. <laughs> You're going you're to have to work to get through that midfield. Okay. And then, yeah. what I'm thinking was similar to you. I need somebody Silky. sitting in behind who's got a little bit in their pocket. Right. Sit in that pocket, pull a, pull a few bits out, see okay. what they got. So, of course, I went for Inspector fucking Gadget. Oh, <laughs> I've never considered... Maybe as a GK... Pulling all kind of passes out of his ass, mate. You don't know where that pass is coming from. You know that phrase he's got... Yeah, but... He's got mirrors in the back of his head. Yeah. This motherfucker had mirrors in the back of his head. No, eyes in the back of his head. He had everything. He had, all he had to do was put an arm out and he had a fucking wing mirror there. 
He, he could he could tear you apart a gadget. You think you've got to the ball, it'd be like playing Paul Pogba. Rangy, stick a leg out. See, I considered him for goalkeeper, Inspector Gadget. Be decent. But he's a bit like haphazard, isn't he? Well, exactly. <laughs> right. He, he relied on a dog, keeping him in a okay. job. So put him next to James Bond. Who pulls it off? Mm, well, look, we're not playing man for man, are we? We're just, we're just saying. Well, we've got three for free. Free for free. <clears throat> okay, right. Okay. I'll give you a right, gadget. You can have gadget. No, right, right, right. What we do, you're playing two holding and I'm playing two attacking. Let's just imagine we're playing him in a rondo. So pick your best holding up against my best attacking and then that way they will hopefully cancel each other out. That's a fair contest. And then you've got like for like with a holding Who's each attacking? and an attacking each. Oh, Bond or Potter? Bond. Oh, he's my Potter. fucking captain. Potter, surely. He's my captain. I like I him. said, he does his best service for his country, Oh, holding? Mate. It's your holding? No, this is my attacking versus one of your holding. This is the your superstar out of the three versus my superstar out of the three. Yeah, I'm going Vader. Bond versus Vader. That could, oh. be, that could be a good one. Who, who should you Who's have? better at their job? Mate, Bond wins that. You can't beat passion. Bobby Moore, pride for his country. You look at, like, for me, it's Roy Keane growing up. Vader was fucking genocidal. It's a service. You can't beat... Look, even in Star Wars, the ones that believe in law and order. All right, well, let's, let's skirt around. What, They're what, the so ones who, that win. Who, who are you putting in your two, then, in, in mids? So you're holding versus my holding, and mine is... Doctor Strange, mate. You can't beat that. Well, I'd match him up against Chewie. Yeah. Easy. Chewie's an idiot. He literally... No, man, he's a beast. He's an animal beast that you need in every every single midfield. Someone's going to do the dirty work, man. Yeah. Take that yellow card for you. Doctor Strange will open up a circle around Chewie. He'll walk through it and not have a fucking clue what's going on. Told you, VAR's going to shut lost. that shit down. No, you were, you're allowing powers for everyone else. Dr. Strange. Oh, I ain't going to lie, that midfield's pretty much overrun my midfield. That's probably a tactical... Didn't realise we were going to go tactics, but if we're just putting up against up, my midfield probably gets overrun a little bit there. I'm hoping... That's three points for me right I'm hoping, there, I'm hoping my front three's going right, to keep me in this. So it was two all. You was debating the right back, Zohan. Ah, okay. I think Zohan's right. Zoh- disgraceful what to go against Taz. Mean? That's disgraceful. All right, okay. I'll give you, in the interest of keeping it tight, I'll so give you that for three, three two. two. <laughs> and then I get three points. So it's five, three to me. All right, safety. Let's go. Three points. Let's, let's go. go. Right, this is my front three. I'm going to give you my left winger. Go. Now, go. What would you want from a left winger? Quick. You want him to be quick? You, you you want Ryan Giggs super duper quick. You would want Ryan Giggs. Am I not? Am I right? Um, no. You, I would. You give me Ryan Giggs down the left uh, wing. No, any, I want Ronaldo any, any day of the week. Yeah, I want Mbappe. Ronaldo, Mbappe, any one of those. What I'm taking from my left wing is I want a tricky, unpredictable character, someone who's just going to keep people guessing all the time, like we've just described. Right. Who's better than that? Who keeps people guessing? It's his whole fucking malak. It's his whole shebang. <laughs> fucking Riddler, isn't it? <laughs> Get fucked. Riddler, bruv. His <laughs> literal trademark is a question mark. He would be the slowest winger in the league. Right no, I'm now. thinking Jim Carrey, Riddler. He Still. would be incredible, mate. He right. would. He's Ronaldo when Ronaldo was still in his dad's ball sack. <laughs> he was. He was the pre-Ronaldo prototype. Right, we all know, right, you can't compare the 66 team to any team now because it's a totally different game, different people. Riddler. He's old as shit. Everyone's evolved since that. And my left winger is Flash. Rapid. That's all he's got. Say no more. Rapid. Say no more. Rapid. 
So if I ping a ball, I've got Bond and Harry Potter playing in behind, slipping balls. No, you can't through. have you can't have cheat codes. We know the flash can just appear he's, in another part of the world in a second. He's just naturally. You can't know. Well, what's that's, he's going to run ball out of play? Like your whole left wing is fucked, bro. You got fucking Forrest Gump running the ball out of play. You got the flash <laughs> running the ball out of play. None of these motherfuckers. It's like playing Timo Werner. You got fucking two Timo Werners going down your left wing. Would you, no way, mate. I've just. He's run and he can quick, but he runs the ball out of play. No, mate. Shit ass. Flash, get on the ball. Fuck, fuck the flash, Pick it bro. up, speed down the wing, and he's he's got a choice. Either fuck cut it flash. back or tap it in, because he's already run behind the goalkeeper. Pace is a very important attribute out wide. Very exactly. Important. So all you want no from your thing winger is quick. Like a chicken wing. If you can get down the wing, I'm talking, like, I was going to say Andros Townsend, but he can ping a ball over. There's many a winger that can beat their man on the outside, but they've got no real end product. No, that would be the flash. Not as quick as the flash. That would be, be Jeremy Doku. Started off quicker. At, started off at Man City, good couple of games. Now he just runs, no end product. Ben Rama. No, mate. No, he's sorry. the Ben Rama of your team. You can't even compare. I think I think I'll take that. I think that's five four, bro. So the flash gets there as soon as it leaves. He's rapid. Theo Walcott. As soon You're as putting it leaves, Theo Walcott on the left wing. Bond's foot with an outside Traveller around between the right back and the centre back. Ralph, you're putting Theo Walcott on the left wing. And you get the flash, sees it come off his foot, and he's just instantly on the end of it, picks it up, springs into the net. Done. 5 4, fam. No chance. 5 4. Six, nah, 6 3, right, bro. What are you saying? 5 4. No. I've gone for a tricky, inquisitive winger, the Riddler. No, sorry. You flash. want your winger to ask questions? Flash, but yeah. Like, where the fuck is everyone else? Got it, mate. I'm telling you. It can't be Theo Walcott in your way out of this. That's got to go to me. That's got to be 5-4. 5-4. Right, it's got to be 5-4. All right, what are you saying? Who's on your other wing? Sonic. Oh! Again, say no. Oh! He's very good in the air. This can be a good matchup. It'll barge through players. Bit like Adama Traore. Rapid as shit, kind. And he can literally smash through bricks to get through to new levels and shit. Run through walls for you. Do you know what I mean? Wait. Super quick. Say nothing. I've got one for you, man. He can't really be spoken about in the same breath, but I'm going to give him a little shout anyway. I'm going to say meep, meep. <laughs> Roadrunner. Roadrunner, man. But again, I'm going cri- to. I can't back my guy. Would have just criticised your guy. Although my guy could stop on a dime, he could turn. Uh, he, li- he literally stopped on a dime, Sonic, but bro. he would have. Yeah, Roadrunner would have been a head down winger all the way to the cross line. Same like, as Flash. Like like a Q Flash off. Yeah, similar to that. But I got more faith in Roadrunner stopping on a dime. That motherfucker used to stop on a dime so much he looked like a toilet plunger. He's got <laughs> boing, boing. just at the edge of the cliff. And he was smart for a bird, man. He didn't fall for them fucking fake cliffs. Yeah, they ironically Fake called. tunnels drawn on a fucking wall. My God. He drew them. Likes to wear bird seed, though, didn't he? You could always get him with a bit of bird seed. <laughs> I always felt that was Coyote's best in. But he used to fuck up the end bit. He used to get him with the bird seed, but he'd fuck up the trap. Yeah, okay, it's... right, I'll give you that. So what we're saying then, that's uh, six, four. Well, I can't even bring it back on strikers, although I do think I win. For want of a better word, what do you want to go first, me or you? Um, I'll play mine. Go on then. What you got? Who's your striker? Who's your bagsman? From my striker, I want everything. I want Ronaldo in his prime at Real Madrid. Yeah, don't we all? So the closest to that is Superman. Has been labelled as such. I think you'll probably uh, find strong, quick, great in the air because he can fucking fly. Movement is incredible. Just pops up. Yeah. Can absolutely belt any object at fucking lightning speed. Laser like precision. Exactly that, mate. And anything that he touches can just fly miles away at incredible speeds. Yeah, okay, right. Again, he can throw shit into space. <clears throat> I think we've both taken slightly different approaches. Yours is very make, make believe magic, don't really happen. What do you mean? Me, mine is more physical based, real people that play football. So, mine. Is the Joker. Now the reason You've just I've just gone all fucking Batman no, villains. The reason <laughs> I've gone for the Joker is the guy's a fucking assassin. You've got to admit he's just an assassin. He don't give a fuck. He's a nutcase. 
he's prepared to do all that dirty shit, the dirty side of the game. And when I say all this, one of my favourite strikers that's come out of the Premier League era in the last, I don't know, like 10 years or so, I ain't talking about the best Premier League striker, but Diego Costa. Yeah, he's dirty. I bastard. used to love that geezer. I didn't love him, I hated him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I used to, I like used to him, think, yeah. how good would that be to have that geezer on You're my team? You're the ultimate Sunday league footballer who's actually oh, got a lot of brilliant. skill. And the thing is, he could bang. He oh, could, yeah. He could he could bang anything he wanted. He was an wanted. extremely good player, but oh, he was shit cunt. Sunday he was league king attitude. of the shit cunt. He's brilliant. Shit has regal or diploma. Okay, so you're going Joker versus Superman, and I still think I'd have won that yeah, one. I've, 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 I've think I misunderstood the assignment. Well, you shouldn't have, because as we mentioned earlier, I asked a very serious question and then just went in on you. It was unexpected. Not only did I come in with players, a team is a team, right? So I had a manager, a coach, and a medic. Yeah, you said this shit, man. You went deep. Uh, so what was, what was your extracurricular activity then? Yeah, so manager, coach, and club medic. Manager, yep. goodwill hunting. Right. Yeah. Tactical clever, genius. Clever cunt. Absolute fucking genius. He can see all these geometric shapes and shit that happen all over the pitch. Decent at mopping floors as well. Better than Pep, any tactician you've ever seen in your life. Yeah, yeah. Right? Give you that. Keep the changing room clean as well, yeah. Got you. He's coach. Every manager needs a coach. Something that, what, someone someone underneath to carry out your shit? Well, that's going to be there with the players in every day, teaching them shit, like different techniques and you, stuff. You on the training ground? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, no, yeah, yeah. What are you saying? Mr. Miyagi. Great shout out. He will be able to teach you the ways of the true heritage. The teach you of the offside football. rule. Show it out. Offside. Onside. Onside. <laughs> Offside. Offside. <laughs> teach you that. <laughs> no shout, mate. He'd be like down to a technique, wouldn't he? Be a tactician. Done. Teaches you everything. Yeah, that's a good shout. I don't know who I would have chose to be fair. Club medic. And because I went films and I debated putting this guy in Egon so Spengler. many. Who the fuck? Egon Spengler. He was the brains behind Ghostbusters. He was the guy that like made all them fucking proton packs. What about Harold Shipman? <laughs> Harold Shipman? <laughs> shit medic. <laughs> fucking shit medic. He'd be the worst one. Shit medic. Great, like, ref sub. Great like, document forger. Shit medic. <laughs> <laughs> you know the one that ran on the pitch and Mourinho had to go at? It'd be any chance someone went down, he'd be fucking sprinting on that pitch. You know. <laughs> yeah, you need an injection. Sleep. I got fired from Vets football. I'm not sure why. <laughs> I've got a bit of a name in the walking football uh, game. <laughs> yeah, go see shit when you ain't coming back. There's no fucking magic spray there, bruv. It's a magic fucking injection and then you go to sleep. Like well, a dog. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely the worst, right? The best, the big motherfucker from Green Mile. Well, Michael... No, no, John, John, John Carpe. John Carpe. And then John Carpe. Mate, he will literally, that anything, was spoke. anything. <laughs> a guy will break his every single rib in his body and he'll walk on, suck the pain out and there'll be loads of bees. Like West Ham forever blowing bubbles, this guy will just spray out bees and everyone will be like, yeah, go bees. bees. You've been to West Ham, we don't spray bees. John oh, Coffey. you mean the way the bubbles come out is like, yeah, the best. Yeah. Okay, got you, sorry. He sorry. runs back over to the tunnel, That's sits like, there, and then me. just goes, and they'll just fucking fly out. That's some weird shit. Yeah. And they'll disappear into dust before they reach anyone. And everyone's like, yeah, go bees. I like that story because the whole story is not geared around a supernatural element until the very last scene. Yeah. And you're just like, right, all the way through, you're like, he's basically Jesus because he can... He can it's like to, get it's rid to of a degree, pain. and then he just goes, Bosh, supernatural, wallop. Yeah. Mate, he's my club medic. No one's beating him. Oh, I like that. I'm not sure who I'd have chose to be fair. Even if someone dies on the pitch, you just. I might have gone Doctor Who, to be fair, as a medic. Who? Doctor Who. He's basically a doctor, and he knows shit about two hearts. So imagine when he's only concentrating on one heart. <laughs> Banging. In fact, I think I'll probably win that. Yeah, but he's only good. You'd have your assistant coach. He'd be your sorry, your assistant club medic, because if anyone suffers with a Christian Eriksen like physio, at least, class, they'd be a physio. 
That's when he runs on and does his shit. Uh, Lance Arm, no, not Lance Armstrong. Fucking Who? stretch. Lance Armstrong. Stretch Don't want anyone getting fucking testosterone injections. Stretch Armstrong as the stretcher. Stretch as the fucking masseuse. You as bend, the... bend your ass up into all kind of nuts. And the stretcher. <laughs> He's just like, right, lay on me, boy. Stretch his yeah, out into a stretcher. Decent. Get on you. Um, Savile, as my scout, look at... <laughs> really good at tapping up young talent. <laughs> Getting them on side. <laughs> and the BBC is the club welfare officers. <laughs> and top it all off, cherry on top, chairman of the club, Prince Andrew. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty money, backed by billionaires, all lizard people. When you come to the end of the line with a buddy who is more than a brother and a little less than a wife... Getting blind drunk together is real.